Mount Walsh is about 10 minute drive south of Biggerton. You arrive at the car park where you'll find some toilets, a little bit of a camping ground and the start of the hike. car park to the top of the mountain is about 460 metres. Uh, my name is Paul, I'm 64 years old and today I'm climbing Mount Walsh with Catherine 69 and Marianne also 69. So we expect to be fairly slow, but we're looking forward to the trip. Uh, don't be fooled by our ages. We are relatively fit uh, and healthy, doing a lot of hiking ourselves. Uh, we did find it very, very tough, but uh, we're experienced enough to know what to do. This particular climb uh, is really three stages. Uh, the first stage, about 70% of it, is up a narrow, pretty well-defined track. Uh, lots of loose rocks and lots of dirt. You need to watch your foot in all the way. For the next 30% uh, or so, it's a rock climb, a lot of scrambling, need to find footholds, and quite dangerous, actually. And the final bit is the top. The top is just uh, flat. Uh, easy to wander around and take in the magnificent views. We had to stop many times on the first part of the ascent, um, but it gave us the opportunity to take in the views as you're going up. At, uh, certainly is worth taking a break to gather your breath and take a few photos. And now the real tough bit, the rock scramble and the rock climb, trying to find footholdings and trying not to slip backwards. Watch out for this stuff that's loose. Oh, they're loose, Marion. Don't yeah. go grabbing that one. I'm only grabbing the big one. Yeah, the pear even. How's it going, Spider-Man? Oh, I'm doing well. I don't have to go up for a... I think they just protect your hands, that's all. And finally, after almost two hours of climbing, we reached the top.
and the views up here are absolutely unbelievable. Definitely worth the difficult challenge in getting to the top. If you're going to do anything like this, it's really important that you wear the appropriate clothing, especially the appropriate hiking shoes with good grip. Take plenty of water for each person and a few snacks and a personal first aid kit.